So the future of mobile devices was just announced and surprisingly it comes from a company that you would not expect. So if you're thinking Apple or Samsung, get that out of your mind right now. This device is the AI pin and it comes from a company called Humane. Now, as the name states without overcomplicating things, it is a little computer that is filled with AI that you can pin to your clothing. And as I said, it's meant to replace a smartphone and it's actually very cool it looks like something that came straight out of like star trek or star wars or something like that and it has a ton of positives and a ton of upside but there's also some strange quirks and a couple negatives that we need to consider as well so essentially the ai pin is a 700 dollars smartphone alternative that you're able to wear on a piece of clothing all day and it's essentially like having this all-powerful ai assistant that's following you around all day and basically takes away the need for having a device like a cell phone in your pocket in order to get through your day. It comes with this cool silver charging case. You're able to get all day use out of this thing. And it's very, very small coming in at 34 grams. Now we don't know much about it in terms of the internal specs. All that we know is it's running a Qualcomm Snapdragon, although they never really specified which Snapdragon it is. They just said that it was required because of all of the AI computing that this thing needs to do on a regular basis. So the way that you actually use this is through voice, touch, gestures, or the laser ink display. So it's actually has a built-in projector that is able to project images onto the palm of your hand when you hold it out in front of you. And even though it's supposed to be a smartphone alternative, it doesn't actually run apps in the traditional sense. When is the next eclipse and where is the best place to see it? The next total solar eclipse will occur on April 8th, 2024. Best places to see it are Exmouth, Australia and East Timor. So it runs off of a series of voice prompts in order to get things done. And so anytime you ask it a question or try to complete some form of task, it's actually scouring the internet to get that information for you and bring it back in real time. And then it is able to share that information with you vocally. It also has a smart RGB camera built in that I believe is 16 megapixels. And it works similar to the uh, Google Pixel cameras or the iPhone cameras where you're able to point it at an object and AI is able to figure out what that object is and then give you certain detailed information about it. And so you're actually able to use it to track your meals and nutrient intake throughout the day. So he takes a handful of almonds out of his pocket and the camera notices immediately that that is a handful of almonds. And based on how many almonds he had in his hand, it was able to tell him that that is 15 grams of protein right there. And all he has to do is tell the AI that he's going to eat those almonds and once he does that gets added to his overall protein intake for the day and at any moment he can make the ai prompt to say how much protein have i consumed today and it's supposed to be able to tell you that information and so that's just one example of a pretty cool feature i'm sure there will be a ton more because of the machine learning with this guy so as you can see in theory this does seem like a pretty cool device but you're probably starting to pick up on what some of the negatives or drawbacks of using something like this just might be so in my opinion if this is supposed to be something that replaces a smartphone there's definitely a lot that's missing so yes i could be walking around and an email comes in and i want to check that email maybe i can read it on the palm of my hand or maybe i can have the ai read it aloud to me i know you're able to also connect bluetooth headphones to this so you don't have you know everybody listening to your emails or everybody listening to your phone calls and text messages but i imagine it's always going to be far more convenient just to pull your phone out and read an email versus having ai read and decipher an email for you but they did have some pretty cool examples in the demonstration where they were able to just ask the ai to summarize the emails that came in or summarize all the notifications that have come in over a period of time and the ai was able to pull out what was most pertinent in order to relay that information back to you so you're not getting bogged down with information overload and i guess that's pretty cool but my main question is we know how popular social media is right now and so the marketing of a device that has zero access to social media whatsoever but it's supposed to be your companion throughout the day does seem kind of weird so i think that from a marketing standpoint you've already lost a large amount of potential customers just by virtue of not being able to have these people scroll through TikTok or 
Twitter or Instagram or whatever it is that they choose to use, you are pretty much locked out of that now because you're not actually running any apps. You're just using AI voice prompts to get through your day to day, which brings us to the next problem, which is connectivity. So if at any point your data goes down, you're not able to access your data plan for whatever reason, then this device becomes ultimately useless. It needs the AI to have access to the web in order to do the things that you need it to do. Whereas at least on my phone, if I did lose access to data, I would still be able to make phone calls. I'd still be able to do other things in the meantime, connect to Wi-Fi, whatever the case is. They didn't really discuss how that part works with this device. So far, all we really know is that they've partnered with T-Mobile, so you're completely locked in having to use this device with T-Mobile, it costs $699 in order to purchase the device. You also have to pay an additional $24 a month in order to have unlimited AI queries and access to whatever other AI tools are built into this guy. So yeah, obviously it's still very early with the AI pin and this is only its first iteration. And typically when you come with a new groundbreaking product, the first iteration isn't always perfect. So it is gonna be missing some things. Um, it is gonna have some quality of life features missing that people really want to see. And I imagine that moving forward as they start to build out future iterations of this guy where they're able to bring in and incorporate the ability to somehow project onto a wall maybe in order to access your social media, I don't know. Maybe their goal altogether is just to get rid of social media completely. I, I'm not really sure what their overall plan is. We only had access to a 10 minute video demo, so there was a lot of stuff that was missing, but at the same time, there were a ton of really cool features. But yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't look like I'll actually be able to test this one out as I believe it's locked to T-Mobile currently, which means this is a US only product at launch. I'm definitely super curious to see what other people think about it once they definitely get hands on theirs. But either way, that's it for me. Much love as always, throwing up two of them, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.